what happens to your body when you do intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting has gained popularity for its potential health benefits and weight management. But have you ever wondered what exactly happens to your body when you practice intermittent fasting? Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we'll delve into the science behind intermittent fasting and explore the incredible changes that occur within your body when you adopt this eating pattern. Before we dive in, let's understand what intermittent fasting is. According to the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, intermittent fasting is a diet regimen that cycles between brief periods of fasting, with either no food or significant calorie reduction, and periods of unrestricted eating. Intermittent fasting limits the amount of time you eat, but it has no say in what you eat or how much you eat. What makes intermittent fasting difficult is that there are numerous ways to do it, and if you're interested in it, you'll want to find the version that works best for your preferences and lifestyle. There are several popular versions of intermittent fasting, according to Caitlin Poyle and M. S. R. D. N., the Nutrition Counseling Services Practice Manager and Outpatient Registered Dietitian at Drexel University in Philadelphia. These include time-restricted feeding, e. g. fast for 16 hours per day and eat for 8 hours per day, some people do longer or shorter fasting windows, whole day fasting, fast completely for 1 to 2 days or consume severely restricted calories, and alternate day fasting, similar to whole day, but you fast every other day. What happens to your body when you do intermittent fasting? Number 1. You might be hungry at first. Your body is accustomed to eating at a specific time. And if you've decided not to eat until noon and you've always had breakfast at 8 a.m., your body will notice something is missing. A delay in eating will likely lead to low blood sugar and feelings of increased hunger and irritability, Poyland said. Fortunately, your body will adjust to your new eating schedule over time, she says. One way to ease the transition to a time-restricted style of intermittent fasting is to gradually delay breakfast, or, Conversely, move up your dinner time, so that the change is not as abrupt. Number 2. Your appetite may change later. While it may be difficult at first, you may find that you can handle the fast better and are satisfied with less food when you do eat. Some studies show that time-restricted eating may lower ghrelin levels, which is the hormone that signifies feelings of hunger in the body, Poylan said. Furthermore, she claims that leptin levels may rise, Leptin is a hormone that tells the body when it is full. Finally, if your ghrelin levels are lower and your leptin levels are higher, you may naturally eat less rather than struggle with hunger. Number 3. Your insulin levels could decrease. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, insulin is a hormone produced by the pancreas that is released in response to rising blood sugar levels after eating food. Insulin's job is to unlock cells in your muscles, liver, and fat and push glucose from your blood into those cells, providing you with energy right away or storing it for later. However, having high insulin levels can increase your risk of obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease, according to 2020 research published in BMC Medicine. The advantage of intermittent fasting is that it also works on insulin. Periods of fasting will decrease the amount of insulin circulating in the bloodstream because it will not need to be released as often, Poylan said. This does not only help burn fat but also lowers the risk of developing certain diseases such as prediabetes and diabetes. Number 4. You may lose weight. If you want to lose weight, intermittent fasting may help you get there. A 2020 review of 27 intermittent fasting trials published in the journal Canadian Family Physician discovered that people lost between 1% and 13% of their body weight. People who followed intermittent fasting for 2 to 12 weeks lost 4.3% of their body weight on average. Some of these studies compared intermittent fasting to traditional calorie restriction and discovered that they were both equally effective in terms of weight loss. According to a 2023 Annals of Internal Medicine study, intermittent fasting may work for weight loss as a form of calorie restriction, as those on the intermittent fasting protocol naturally ate about 400 fewer calories per day. You may consume fewer calories if you have fewer hours in the day to eat. However, this is all dependent on what you eat. Poyland does, however, mention that a decrease in insulin and a change in appetite hormones may also aid in weight loss. According to 2020 research published in the journal Nutrition, intermittent fasting may be beneficial as a weight loss jumpstart because it can help you lose weight faster than other diets in the beginning. 
the authors emphasize that there is no perfect weight loss strategy for everyone. Furthermore, a 12-month randomized controlled trial of obese people published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2022 discovered that restricting eating to between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. resulted in the same reduction in body weight, body fat, and metabolic risk factors as daily calorie restriction. Number 5. Your metabolic health might improve. According to a large Umbrella 2021 review published in JAMA Network Open, certain types of intermittent fasting helped adults with overweight or obesity issues reduce their body weight by 5% and lose fat, as well as lower bad LDL and total cholesterol, triglycerides, fasting glucose and insulin, and blood pressure. Only certain types of intermittent fasting, such as 5 to 2, eating for 5 days and consuming a very low calorie diet for 2, and modified alternate day fasting, eating 0 to 600 calories on fasting days, provide these benefits. Finally, the authors believe that intermittent fasting could be a legitimate treatment for diabetes and fatty liver disease. The only catch was that intermittent fasting was most effective in the first one to six months. People did not lose any more weight after that, possibly because they found it difficult to stick to the diet over time. Number 6. You could increase the risk of unhealthy habits. One major concern that many healthcare professionals have about popular nutritional trends is mental health and disordered eating. Food restriction over time can increase the risk of overeating or binge eating. Another source of concern is the lack of food-related guidance. While some people may meet their nutritional needs, others may be deficient in important nutrients that affect health in the short and long term. Even if intermittent fasting does not direct your food choices, what you eat is still important, according to Poilin. A focus on adequate lean protein intake, whole foods, fiber and water is imperative, she said. Consuming protein, fiber, and healthy fats at meals will help to slow digestion and prevent large insulin spikes after meals. Poilin adds that hydrating with at least 64 ounces of fluid every day will help keep your body running smoothly whether you're fasting or eating. In conclusion, intermittent fasting may cause feelings of hunger, making it difficult to maintain at first. However, studies show that the diet can help you lose weight and improve your metabolic health. During eating periods, focus on eating a balanced, healthy diet, which will help you feel your best. Fasting is not for everyone, including those who are pregnant, trying to become pregnant, breastfeeding, under the age of 18 or over the age of 75, taking certain medications, have a history of disordered eating, diabetes, kidney or liver disease, and others. Before attempting intermittent fasting, consult with your doctor. Thank you for watching. Remember to take care of your body and make informed choices. See you next time.